Understanding Management Accounting, Part 22, Profit Mix, and Profitability. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email and our phone number. You'll find us on Facebook at this address. And the information for this video was taken from Four Holidays Gadget Star from the recent Wall Street Journal article that we saw and it caught our attention. And this article happens to be about Best Buy and it has to do with changing consumer taste, that is the product and services that consumers want changing. And as you see in the first bullet point, there's a shift in what consumers want as far as electronics go. There's a shift out of TVs and personal computers, PCs, into handheld devices like iPods, iPads, Blackberries, handheld devices. So that's going to impact substantially Best Buy's business, who up until now has been very heavily into those larger products that people are migra migrating away from. So the first bullet point here talks about a replacement market. People, are cons people who have a TV that they need to replace are considering not replacing it, and instead, maybe they get an iPad, maybe they get a Kindle to read books, maybe they get a a smaller device to watch shows on the internet, they're considering not replacing them. If they are replacing the TV, they're willing to pay a lot less. Related to that, iPads. iPads are cannibalizing, quote unquote, the market for laptops because people are saying to themselves, I've already got a laptop or the laptop I'm had, I have is old and still usable. So rather than get a new laptop, why don't I get a smaller device like an iPad that I can use for the purposes I want without having to have a larger laptop and pay more. So iPad is eating into and reducing the laptop market. Also, movies and music discs are less in demand. A good example of that is Pandora. I listen to Pandora One work, which is free music over the internet. And I listen to videos on YouTube. As a result, I don't buy music, CD, music discs and I really don't buy any movies on disc either. So how does this change things for Best Buy? Shelf space. They need less overall shelf and floor space simply because the devices that are more in demand are smaller. So they're reorganizing their stores and since they have more room, if you look at this bullet point, they've created in the middle of their stores a playground. And the playground is for devices like the Wii that are active so people can try them out and they're still using their their floor space inside their store in a smart way to drive sales traffic, get people interested in the things they have. The last bullet point is, well, what happens to the old inventory, the old TVs and PCs? We've got these on the shelf. Consumers want them less. How do we get rid of them? And we can only do that by cutting prices on less desirable inventory. And whenever we have slower economic times, like the recession we're in now, there is more demand for generic brands in a recession. So maybe in addition to considering fewer TVs and personal computers, maybe they're considering brands that are not the name brands like Dell and going to cheaper brands. Let's think about how that affects us in this product mix example. So I'm Let's say you're managing Best Buy location number 10, and you want, to you want to analyze relevant costs, and we discussed that on a prior video. These are costs that are going to change, costs that you can do something about, that you can make a decision about. So here's what we look like for the 2009 holidays. We have revenue and expenses. Here are the products, their prices, the units we sold total revenue. And here are some expenses that we're going to consider change that we consider because they'll change and the changes will happen in shelving expense, direct materials to make the physical shelves, direct labor to put up the shelves, take them down, and repair and maintenance. And I'm going to make a correction there to maintain the shelving when it gets broken needs to be repaired. So in 2009 I'm saying that we didn't have the iPads and the Kindles as a product. We sold laptops, music CDs, DVDs, and televisions. And this is where our revenue ended up, 880000 And we have 
total expenses. So this is our profit, and again, not in total, just looking at the revenue and expenses that we think might change between 2009 2010. So if we go down to 2010, we have some things changing. We have iPads and Kindles that we're selling that are new products this year. And we also see that with our computers, DVDs, CDs, and televisions, that sales are declining. I'm saying that unit sales go down 25%. And we also cut our prices to clear out the inventory, so the unit prices on these less popular items are lower. So you see our revenue goes down 25%. But because we have less shelf space needed, our shelf space expenses go down. They go down 34%. But in total, our total profit goes down 25%. So there's a couple of things that we can do about this. What can we do to get our revenue up, which gets our profit up? Well, maybe we promote and advertise these new products that have a higher profit level for us because they're priced higher, number one, and also there are new products that are in demand this year. So we promote those and increase sales in these two areas, that's a choice. Maybe as we gradually get rid of this inventory, we have less of this stuff in the store, which frees up shelf space for the better sellers. That would help us. And gradually, as we clear out these larger goods, our self shelf space expenses will go down even farther because we have less of this large stuff to display. So if you go into your Best Buy, it's going to look substantially different than it did two or three years ago because we used to call these places big box electronic stores, and the fact is that people are buying less of these bigger items. That's the end of Management 22. You'll find our essential courses, one to three hour courses, available electronically. If you see our website, you can actually sample one of them. It's a 28, 30-minute long section of our full-length course. Here's our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL. We have a video listing of all of our videos on YouTube now. You can register for individual one-on-one -on -one tutoring or small groups and live chat sessions at our website, stltest.net. Here's our email and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.